All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gimme Five. Um, you know, there's this new uh, mantra out there, and I think it might have started right here on my show uh, the other day. The mantra is, the Republicans had better watch what they do to Hillary when it comes to Benghazi. If that select committee is going to call her to testify, could be trouble. You could, in fact, be prosecuting Hillary all the way into the White House. Now, if you were watching on Monday, we had Hank Scheinkampf on, uh, of course, a Democratic strategist, Newsmax contributor. And I'll show you a clip from that interview, and then the ball started rolling. Watch. It's not a question of how she escapes, it's how the Republicans <coughs> commit electoral suicide, by pillaring her now. It didn't work when they did it to her husband. Do they really believe this is going to work now? And if they do it, do you know what they're going to do? They're going to prosecute her right into the White House. They're going to prosecute her right in to the White House. Now, lest you think it's only Democrats, and I'll give you a couple more examples of Democrats saying this after that, George Will, George Will actually had a warning, as he put it, uh, a word of warning for Republicans on Fox News Channel, which was right in line with what, with what Hank Scheinkamp had to say. Watch. I would remind my Republican friends of one thing, 1998. Every disaster in politics is at some point or other a disaster of disproportion. And the Republicans in 1998 got the bit in their teeth, ran on impeachment of Bill Clinton, and he managed to gain seats in the off-year election in his second term. Really hard to do. Yeah, all right. Well, I don't, you know, I, I, and that's what Scheinkamp said also in explaining uh, his answer to me. He said, you know, look what they did to Bill Clinton. And look what the reaction was when they did it to Bill Clinton. And my, I said it to Hank, and I would say it to George. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, first of all, Bill Clinton was impeached, and rightfully so, in my view. Um, but, you know, if, if you want to talk about Bill Clinton and, and his lying under oath about a sex uh, uh, affair, which is, which is perjury, I'm not diminishing it, but this, this is the Secretary of State of the United States and her inaction may have resulted or may have helped result in the death of four Americans, including a U.S. ambassador. She told the parents of the dead, we're going to get the guy who made the video. She sat before Congress and said, what difference does it make? You can't compare that to Bill Clinton saying I didn't have sex and then apologizing for it. There's no, there's no analogy there. On a level of seriousness in the eyes of the public, I mean, it's against the law what Clinton did, too, but in the eyes of the public, I think what Bill Clinton did, the seriousness was down here, and what, what Hillary Clinton, what happened in Benghazi, let's say, is up here. So I don't, I don't buy this. I don't buy this. Let's watch. Uh, here's Dan Bowles, Washington Post. Watch. You mentioned Hillary Clinton's name more than President Obama when talking about Benghazi. That, to me, was a tell. Yes, and uh, but I talked to somebody over the weekend, a, a, a Democrat, who said, you know, this could actually be good for Clinton because the degree to which yeah. the right is really after her helps her with her left. Um, and if she's got some lack of enthusiasm on the left that, that we've talked about before, we don't really know whether that's going to be the case. Uh, if she's under attack by the right, the Democrats across the spectrum will be more forgiving. Well... Uh, it's going to motivate the base if Hillary's attacked over Benghazi. I, 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 I you know, what, what kind of base? What kind of base is that? I mean, I wouldn't want to be part of that base, that's for sure. All right, then there's Chris Matthews, of course, in a class all by himself. Watch. The enemies of Hillary Clinton, by that I mean the partisan enemies, have got their voodoo doll. It's called Benghazi. Every time they put the pin in, they hope it hurts Hillary. Every time they say the word, they hope it scares her. It's become an obsession bordering on cultism among Republicans, with even John Boehner falling under its spell. You can almost smell the incense. Benghazi, Benghazi, Benghazi. They keep chanting the word until it gets Hillary to fall. <laughs> wow. A voodoo doll sticking the pins in Hillary every time they say Benghazi, Benghazi, Benghazi. Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, again, that speaks for itself because it's in a class by itself. All right, folks, we shall see right here on the Steve Malsberg Show on Newsmax Television.